always the two towers. There's the sun, always divided into 12 pieces. The sun in the middle with his 12 disciples, his 12 posts or apostles. Basilica Santa Maria degli Angeli Martiri. Yeah, Rome, Rama, the head. Michelangelo. Mm -hmm. That's Michelangelo's. So he's divided into C22, 23 and 24. He knows what he's doing. Meridium, the sun and all the signs of the zodiac. There it is, the seven, the seven stars. More astrology, the pillars, always. There's the ram, the bull, the twins. Crab, Leo, the virgin, scales of justice, the scorpion, and the fish tied together by two bands. Pay attention to that, two band, by the band. Next. There it is, the phallic, there's the royal arch, there's the stone that the builders rejected. All of this, it all has to do, everything has to do with astrology. This is pure astrology. In fact, temples were built in the patterns of constellations. There never has been a temple, there never will be, that has not. So it's no use churchgoers denying, oh, that's, that, that's just a, a, a round window and 12 is pretty. That's why we've done 12. Well, 11's pretty. Ah, uh, 13's great. What about 14? No, none of that. We just want Jesus and the 12 disciples in this church. Disc disciples. There's the disc and the disc disciples. Again, the towers, Boas and Jackin, the Holy Cross, the four cardinal points, the four angels, the four winds. There it is, the sun. And all the degrees, 360 degrees. Every day is a degree. Every day is a different angle. Every day is a different angel. Therefore, you have different angels with different names. There it is, the sun, the phallic. The holy sun. You see, you see the sun going through the pillars of Hercules, always going through those pillars. The sun is always in the middle of the pillars, travelling, travelling through the solstices and the equinoxes. There it is, the sun. There he is with the winged, the winged disc of the sun. And look at these churchgoers. Oh, that's a, it's an angel. Uh, 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 it's, it's beautiful architecture. Because they're morons. They've been reduced to, to moron because they have defaulted in their own responsibility of knowing the truth. There it is, the rose cross, the sun, the holy grail. I E S in Greek. Yes, Jesus, the sun. There it is again. You see the sun and the moon. The sun is the hour. Hour comes from Horus. The minute is the moon, and the seconds come from the speedy little Mercury. There it is inside. This is all. This is the. This is the. The solar system in stone. These masons, they know every little angle and how to create because the great teacher, the Demiurge, the Lord, taught them. And they, these, these guys, they're just following the orders. It, it's not good and it's not evil. It's just this is architecture. It's based on the sun and the seven orbs. That's what angels are all about. It's, there's nothing here that is not astrological. Absolutely nothing. Boas and Jackin, actually there's four pillars. One, two, three, four, and there's Jesus Christ the Son in the middle of the equinoxes and the solstice, dying for our salvation. It dies in the winter, it dies when it gets crucified at Aries, Cancer and Libra, at the four points of Ra. And all of this is astrological, it's all pure astrology. And as for the churchgoers like the Jehovah's Witnesses that say, oh, but we've got a kingdom hall, uh, we don't have temples and churches and cathedrals, that's pagan. Crock of shit. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses go to a kingdom phallus. Hall comes from phallus. When they go to worship Jehovah in their kingdom dick, it's just the same as what these guys do. It's all about phallus. Next. There it is. San Miniato in Tuscany, Italy. Let's have a look in this little place and see what we can find, shall we? Whoops. Oops, oh Lord, 
if it isn't the sun and astrology. There's Jesus Christ with the Holy Cross on his head and the halo of salvation, the sun. Who we got here? Whoa, Jesus coming in the clouds to save everybody, the sun. Look, and every eye shall behold me. And the risen Savior. Risen? Would that come from Ra? I think so. When you raise the Christ, you Ra, the sun. Just keep going because people can, people can pause. Oh, that was good. That was uh, the four signs of the Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. There it is, the sun, Jesus Christ. There's the sun. He's pointing to his heart because that's also Horus. See, Leo is a fire sign. Aries is a fire sign. So you're going to have fire up here in Aries, and it's a perfect trine to the heart in astrology, perfect relationship, heart to mind. And this is what they're teaching you. Jesus is saying, please pay attention. And there's 3.14. 3.14 is pi. That's the science they're teaching you. There it is. There's the signs of the zodiac. And here we have the ram, the bull, and the, the twins going around the other way. There it is. These are all churches. These are Christian churches, people. And these are mosaics. These are mosaics. Moses. Moses and the brazen serpent, the ecliptic, the sine wave. Everywhere you go, the 12 sons of Israel. Everywhere in the world, in the universe, you will never, ever find a more recognizable symbol in the universe. Because the universe is made by this. There you go. There's, there's Jesus in the Kabbalistic tree. Kitha, which is the same as Malkuth. And in here you have the pseudocephra called Dart, which means gnosis, which means knowledge, which is what we are here for, to get the knowledge, to access understanding, wisdom and love. Love is God is love. God is light. Kitha, ether, the source. And this is a zigzagging thing like electricity because everything is vibrating and zigzagging through the heavens. Ra projects from here and makes all of this. There it is, there's the sun. The oldest religion on earth is the worship of the sun on the cross. The cross is formed by connecting two solstices with a line and the two equinoxes with a line crossing the first one at the centre of the circle where the sun is located. The sun cross is also called the sun wheel. Remember the will of God? From ancient prehistoric times, man drew this symbol in many ways in different places. There it is. Swastika, same thing. Here, as we'll see later, this is in an Indian temple. There's 24 of these eight-spoke wheels. The cross-quarter days are in there, and the solstitial and the equinoctial days. And there's 24 of these massive wheels in the temple of Konark, sounds like Karnak, in Egypt and Karnak in France, which we will see in a minute. There it is. The sun, the cross, crucified four times. You will always just see the cross. That's all you will see in the universe as a symbol of creation. Spirit and matter. There he is. Beautiful. The idea of representing the son of God as the son of God had already been done in other religions. For all the morons and all the intellectual, educated, religious types that come from seminaries that go, oh, oh, S-U-N and S-O-N, that's just a coincidence. That was never, it was absolutely interchangeable and in reference to one another. The S-U-N is the S-O-N, period. And when it's time that we shut the mouths of the imbeciles who go around debunking this and saying, oh, paganism was mixed with Christianity, and, but the Jesus religion is the only true religion. What a crock. It's all the one thing. Oh, look at these churches. Well, Calvary, the skull where, the, where Jesus dies, up here when you, when you bring the oil back to heaven. Rising Sun Holy Church. Oh, that's interesting. Pleasant Hills Christian Church. What are they doing with all these suns? I wonder whether they know what they're doing. I, I can guarantee you that the governing bodies of these corporate churches doing business on the name of Jesus Christ, they know exactly what the sun's doing there. Bethel. Bethel means, can you go back to that one, please? House of God. That's Taurus. L, 
the cerebellum, that's the house of Taurus. And yeah, Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Bethlehem is another word for Karnak in Egypt. Did you know that? Bethlehem, the house of the lamb. Lahem means the lamb. It's called the house of the, the meat. Laham. Laham means meat. Yeah, it also means lamb. I've, I was told that by Arabic people. Karnak is the house of Lahem, the lamb, the lamb of God. When you, when you go to a cathedral, it's in the shape of a cross, and you will always find that the altar is where in a cathedral? The altar is always, you go into the cathedral, and then you, and then you go past the arms. The cathedrals are always like this, right? You always, you go into a cathedral from the feet. And then the altar is always there where Taurus is, because t altar comes from altar or altor. T-A-U, altar, and you always go up to Taurus, to the altar, and that's where it will always be here. So this is a man, and the altar of the cathedral is always here where Taurus is. New beginnings. Oh, blazing summer impact service. Interesting. The sun. Oh, well. Eastern star, because when the sun crosses the equinox, you celebrate Easter. Easter is Ashtate, also Esther. Esther has a friend called Mordecai. I wonder whether that would be Ashtate and Marduk. Hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. The rising sun. Oh, look at Mr. Popey Poo. He's carrying the sun with him everywhere he goes. Oh, what a good little boy. That's for all the pedophiles out there. Next. There you go. There's the pedophile club. And they've got the cross in there, haven't they? What the Catholic pedophile church does is it hides everything in plain sight. There's the phallic. It's a sundial. And then when the sun... See, the sun's up here. This is facing east, by the way. East is here. This is north. This is south. When the, when the sun goes through the equator on Easter and it rises up to Cancer, it sends a shadow on that, on that sundial. You see the shadow is there but it will send a shadow onto this statue here at the end. These are, these are colonnades. This is a beautiful, big colonnade. And there's a statue here, statue here, statue here, statue here. So that as the sun goes from summer, autumn, winter, spring, summer, autumn, winter, spring, it will cast a shadow in this cross, always. And so what they're showing you is, these are the solstices, the amplitude of the wave, and this is the equilibrium. This is why when the Pope comes out here, to all the pedophile supporters that are gathered around here on Easter, he is looking to the east. The sun is right here at Easter. It's crossed over into the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God, the Lamb of God will be here in this section here. Aries, Taurus, Cancer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, the days of Lent, and then when the sun crosses at Easter, Ashtate, they celebrate the crossing of the Lamb of God. There it is. There's the sun, the wheel of the year. Same old religion, guys. Hasn't changed. There, there's the sun walking on water. The Roman Catholic cross, the Egyptian ankh, the pyramid. By the way, I, I want to give... Um, this is a friend of mine called John Maritain, who is a occult researcher. He's very good with tarot. and A lot of these pictures come from John. Thank you, John. And also Jennifer Assad, who is giving me a lot of these pictures that you will see in a minute. And also Richard from Hidden Lighthouse. The Hidden Lighthouse blogspot.com.au. Richard there has got so much great information. There it is. You can see what's going on. The phallus. There's the Kingdom Hall. The pyramid with the detached chief cornerstone, like the dollar bill, because that's 
That's what the sun does. The sun produces all of these symbols. Blessed are your eyes, for they, sh for they see. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen it. What that means is in reference to the religion that was forgotten. Because already for thousands of years, mankind has been absolutely stupid and ignorant with regards to their true natural science. And they've gone practicing idolatry. You know, like Leonardo da Vinci said, the fools that worship a man. If only I had the words to be able to censure them and help them. And do they, do they not know that all glory reverts back to the image that the causal God placed for us to adore him? This is the son. Jesus says, if you have seen me, you have seen the father. None of this rubbish worshipping some prophet that's why Muhammad forbids even a picture of him. Because it's got nothing to do with men. If there are saviours on this planet, they are saviours because they saved themselves and they raised themselves to the higher mind and became an example for others to be saved. God's Son is the light of the world. There it is, the saviour. If that saviour didn't come up, all of this green stuff disappears. It saves nature. He dies every evening for our sins. Born again every morning. That's the sun. There's the three stages of the sun. That's the sun, that's the God most high position at midnight, at midday. This is the Horus position. This is the set position. Satan, red, sun setting. The sun walks on water. There you go. Your eyes do that all the time. You can see the sun walking on water as it sets. Sun dies on a cross. See the shapes it's producing? There's the sine wave. That's the ecliptic, the brazen serpent of Moses in the wilderness. That's the wilderness. That's the park, the paradise, which is a park, an ark. That's the ark. The Lamb of God, the white blossom. That's the symbol of the white blossom of the flowers in the, the period of Cerealia, the cereal festival in April in Aries. And the Japanese cel celebrate Sakura and the Romans have flora, all the flower, all the life of spring, symbolized by the Lamb. That's why Jesus is the Lamb of God. There it is, Leo, Regulus sits right on the ecliptic. One of the most prominent stars that is right on the ecliptic. If you ever want to find the ecliptic, just look for Regulus. And the sun is the strongest when it reaches the line of July and August, the August one. August, AU, is the atomic symbol for gold. That's why August gives you the golden heat of summer. There's the virgin, the harvest. She has the, the seven... Oh, the sheaf of grain with, with seven heads of corn on it. There's the bread that she gives at the bread. This is why when you see Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, Libra, September, the wine, and the bread is early September with Virgo. That's why the sun Christ Jesus at Libra, you see this disciple with its arms outstretched, that's Libra, the scales of Libra. Here, this disciple has his two hands out, sticking out to show that it's Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, clustered in a group of three. And then we have the crabby uh, Cancer. You see this, this guy here, he's pointing, to Virgo, he's pointing to Virgo, to the right of Jesus, indicating that there's no Adam's apple. He has a knife in his hand, the crabby Cancer. And there's Leo with his elbow on the table, the only one that dominates the table. Aries is at the head of the table with his hands at the head, indicating that he is the first and the ruler. And then all of these others, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces, spring, summer, autumn, winter. They are all there to tell you about the same science of the bread and the wine. This is why when you look at the table, 
You see, the son is saying, look what, I, look what I give you, bread and wine in your cups. This is the, the evening meal that they have before the sun goes to its death down at December. And Jesus, the son, is saying, this is the moment in between Virgo and Libra that I give you the bread and the wine. There's the balance at that point. There's the, one of the stars of Libra on the ecliptic. And this sign was always looked forward to for balance in nature. This is the sign of justice. This is where the middle of the sine wave, the middle of the brazen serpent of Moses, and this is how it occurs. That's where Libra happens all the time. Aries and Libra are here. Capricorn and Cancer are here. This is always Capricorn in the dark. This is always... And it's not good and bad either, people. Capricorn, just because he's ruled by Saturn and it's a goat and it's in midnight and winter, doesn't mean it's evil. This is the light that we can see, this is the light we can't see, and they're both crucial for existence. They're just two different kinds of light. There's the scorpion, Antares, the red star in the middle, the backstabber, Dan or Judas. Sagittarius, this is the one that shoots the sun in the heel in hell on December the 21st, the last day of Sagittarius. Would that be Ra, Surya of India? Yes, it would. Apis, the bull of April, of Taurus. Shamash, another name for the sun. Inti, Buddha. Ra, Mithra. Ra. It's all about Ra. There it is. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. This is the greatest story ever told. I'm going through these quickly so that people viewing on the pre uh, video can pause for themselves. There's the beard. There's the beard of the sun. That's where they get their beard in their imagery. There it is, the sun on the horizon. There's the horizon. There's the beard in the water. As above, so below. There's the horizon. There it is. This is all sun worship. These, these lines are all to do with the numbering of the days of procession and the days of the sun going from, that would be June 21st, the solstice. This would be March. This would be Libra. This would be Capricorn. It's all science. It's all, this is the bark. This is the, these are the degrees of the zodiac. These are all degrees of the zodiac. The, these are all angels. This is all solar worship. That's why you see gold. It must be gold because it's the sun. See how big this is? You see these two people here? These three people walking away from this statue? This is how much detail they paid to the sun. Ra. And the Uraeus, this is a Uraeus, we'll get to that in a minute. There's the bullet, the cartouche. There it is. It's all about the glorious sun. And, the, and here we have the two trees, Aries and Libra, you could say. It, but there's always two trees, or in other words, two pillars, or two, two opposites, two of something. Always, duality, they're telling you. But to be balanced, you see, balanced in the middle. This is in the middle path. This is a man who has walked in the middle paths, burst his pineal gland, call this the Uraeus. There you have a, a bird and a serpent. The bird, these have to do with the features in the brain, in the brain. In the brain you have these two animals. There he is. Same story, there's no difference. bird brain because you've got the amygdala in your brain and it comes, it's a bird feature that's in your brain like Ammon's horn, the hippocampus. This is all, this is the pineal gland, this is the serpent that comes forth that opens up, this is when you receive the blood of the Christ, the karast, Ra, and you become illuminated. This is the sign of illumination. This is not demon worship like the church girls tell you, man. Church girls will tell you anything to keep themselves in their own fiction and suffer the consequences.